Hi everybody, my name is Philip Henson and I'm the product manager here at Abaco for our DSP and IO products, including the Xilinx RFSOC based VP430, which we will be discussing today, as well as the VPX370 development chassis you see here to my right. Let's start with the VP430 itself. The VP430 is Abaco's flagship RFSOC product, featuring the Xilinx ZU27DR RFSOC. This chip features not only a highly capable FPGA, but integrated analog to digital converters and digital to analog converters, and an integrated quad core ARM processor and dual core ARM real time processor. With eight analog to digital converters and eight digital to analog converters sampling at 4 giga samples per second and 6.4 giga samples per second, respectively, the additional 1130s, various Vita 46 single ended I.O., and 16 LVDS connections, the VP430 supports a Firefly Vita 66.4 connection capable of up to 12 giga sample per second transfer speeds or up to 12 coax connections via a Nano RF connector, all available in air cooled or conduction cooled versions. It has applications in all kinds of signal processing, signal processing spaces from radar to electronic sensing to electronic protection. Let's look at a DERFM application. Pre-RFSOC, you had an SPC, one to four FPGA carriers with an FMC, likely a GPU and some IO cards. With RFSOC, you could replace the multiple carriers and FMCs with a single card. And if utilizing VP430 as a system controller, you can replace the SBC as well, taking a four to eight card plus FMC system to a three card system. The VP430 we have here is housed in a VPX370 chassis, which can accommodate up to seven 3U VPX cards. This system is typically configured with an Abaco SBC326, which has a fourth gen Intel i7 and a PEX430 PCIe switch over here. Which, which provides the required connectivity between the host processor and the cards to be evaluated. In addition to it, it can be configured with a variety of Abaco hardware, including an UltraScale Plus VP881 as we have here, or an UltraScale Plus based VP889, or the RFSOC based VP430 right here. This provides customers a, de a development platform that is integrated and ready to use with Abaco FPGA products. So it gets you up and running much faster. You're about to see a demo utilizing this product that was written in Abaco's Axis Data View software. To share the VP430 capability, we'll be using a demo built on Axis software to visualize the data we're generating and acquiring on the VP430 ADCs and DAC channels. What you see behind me are two time domain plots and one frequency domain plot. The far left shows channel 0 and 3 of the DAC. The middle plot shows the matching ADCs in the time domain, and finally on the right you see the frequency plots of those same ADCs. Now we'll configure two DAC channels, channel 0 and 3. We'll set channel 0 to generate a 200 megahertz wide chirp. We'll adjust the DUC frequency to be 1 gigahertz, click set config to apply those settings. For channel 3, we'll, set, we'll specify a 400 megahertz wide chirp configuring the DUC center frequency to 1700 megahertz and click set config to generate the waveform. With the DAX now generating data, we can switch over to the ADC configuration and tune the ADC DDCs to the same center frequencies. We now can visualize the time domain data on each channel and zoom in if needed. Now, looking over to the last screen, we see that same time domain data in the frequency plot and you can see your 200 and 400 megahertz wide chirps respectively on each on each plot here. This GUI is simply intended for a quick demo and debug purposes and not for making measurements, but it does provide a quick way to highlight the VP430's capabilities in action. That's it for this demo and thank you for your time.